Hi folks, Todd Keppel with the Klamath County Museum here, bringing you a video to go with our photo of the week for April 28, 2019. For today's video, we're headed west on Highway 66 out of Keno. This is a photo I've been looking forward to sharing with you for a long time for a number of reasons. First of all, I bet it's a photo you've never seen before. And it's about a place that you've probably never heard of before. And finally, it's a place that doesn't exist anymore, at least not in the same way. Oh, and it's a place you can't really get to anymore, at least not usually. If it sounds like I'm speaking in riddles, stick with us. All will be made clear by the end of our video. Oh, there's another reason I've been wanting to do uh, this photo. It gives me a chance to talk about this sign that you see on Highway 66 as you're leaving Keno. Historic Highway. I've always wondered exactly what's historic about Highway 66. It turns out there's quite a bit. The main thing to know about Highway 66 is that it was the first highway built specifically for automobiles, usable throughout the year, coming into Klamath Falls. Now, before Highway 66 was built, originally, by the way, known as the Ashland to Klamath Falls Highway, the only all-year road that could be used was Topsy Grade, and if you've been down that road, you know how rough that is. So opening of Highway 66 was really the creation of an economic lifeline, aside from the railroad, for the community of Klamath Falls. It really meant that for the first time, people could conveniently travel from the Pacific Highway near Ashland into Klamath Falls. So we're headed for that spot where this highway, the Ashland Klamath Falls Highway, met the Pacific Highway about five miles south of Ashland uh, near Emigrant Lake. Hayden Mount is the highest point on the Green Springs Highway and so this is the spot that was chosen for a dedication ceremony on June 4th, 1924. It was reportedly attended by 1,500 people. Captain O.C. Applegate, a veteran of the Modoc Indian War, was also called on to speak during the ceremony, as he often was during dedication ceremonies and commemorations. Apparently, his speech might have gone on a little bit long, as we can tell from the body language of some of those who were in the photo from that event. A number of businesses in Klamath Falls were pretty excited about the ceremony up on Hayden Mountain. As you can see, the Klamath Clothing Company encouraged everyone to buy a big hat because they would be wearing them at the ceremony at Hayden Creek. The Ashland Klamath Falls Highway was referred to as a million dollar highway. Of course, these days it would probably cost a million dollars per mile or more to build such a highway. Tub Springs has always been a popular stopping point on the Ashland to Klamath Falls Highway, just as it had been on the Southern Oregon Wagon Road in the late 1800s and on the Applegate Trail in the mid 1800s. Okay, we've reached our destination, or at least I should say we've gotten about as close to our destination as we can manage to get. We could probably get a little closer, and we'll try to do that before we wind up here today, but we've reached that point where Highway 66 ties in with the old Pacific Highway, or I guess it was sometimes known as the old Siskiyou Highway. Anyway, it's old Highway 99, and that's the highway that you see running off uh, behind me up towards the Siskiyou Pass. So this is the point where um, folks heading north on the old Pacific Highway would cross into Oregon, and had their opportunity uh, to visit the Klamath Falls region. Uh, highway 99, uh, by the way, was the main north-south highway on the west coast. And so uh, it went all the way from the Mexican border to the Canadian border through San Diego, San Diego uh, Los Angeles, the Central Valley, uh, past Weed, Wairica, and then uh, through the Willamette Valley, Seattle, and on up to the Canadian border. So obviously a lot of traffic on this highway. We've got a map that shows uh, the old highway coming into this point here, and one thing that's interesting to note about this old map is that it shows the highway between Klamath Falls and Ashland being identified as Highway 97. So obviously this was a time before the Weed Highway uh, came through and made it much more convenient uh, to head to Point South out of Klamath Falls. Once the Ashland Klamath Highway opened in 1924, it was seen as a tremendous asset for bringing tourists into Klamath County, especially those that were headed up to Crater Lake. In fact, the editor of the Evening Herald newspaper wrote just a couple of weeks after the highway opened, We see no reason why every lake-bound autoist from California cannot be induced to turn his car over the Ashland Klamath Highway. Enjoy the ride through the timber. 
see Klamath Falls. Pass along the great Klamath Lake with its 40 miles of incomparable scenery and reach the rim in virtually the same traveling distance as by the other route. Okay, let's get down to business here and have a good look at our selected image for the week beginning Sunday, April 28th, 2019. It shows the Southern Oregon Tourist Bureau at the junction of the Ashland to Klamath Falls Highway and the Pacific Highway. This is the Klamath Junction. So these are the facilities that were set up by the good people of Klamath Falls and Klamath County in a project sponsored by the Klamath County Chamber of Commerce. The facilities that we see here include a filling station, there is also a dining hall, there is a campground, and of course an exhibit building, a handsome little building established to display products of Klamath County. We know from newspaper accounts that there are a number of individuals involved in this project. Uh, for instance, we know that an individual by the name of Kerry Ramsby was hired to coordinate the Tourist Bureau. And we know that the filling station was operated for a time by longtime Klamath Falls resident Harold Ogle. And as far as the, the exhibit hall goes, we know that among those who participated in displays there was the county agent, Charles A. Henderson. As we pan across this image, we can see the filling station and the visitor bureau. We can see a number of cars that have pulled into the station. Here's a close look at the exhibit building. And at the far right, we can see in this photo taken by the Stinson Studio that there were facilities for ladies and gents. You can see from this advertisement in the Evening Herald newspaper that people from Klamath Falls were being encouraged to stop by and support the Tourist Information Center at Klamath Junction. Folks were encouraged to buy gasoline, top off their oil, and have lunch whenever possible at Klamath Junction. All right, so let's deal with the issue of why we can't actually get to the spot where our photo was taken. Here's the way it worked out. In the early 1920s, about the same time that Highway 66 was being planned, the Talent Irrigation District in Jackson County was planning to build a dam on Emigrant Creek. So uh, I don't know exactly how that worked out, but the Klamath Junction was located just at the upper end of the new Emigrant Lake. In the 1960s, the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation decided to raise the dam on Emigrant Creek by about 100 feet. And so that flooded a large area, including the Klamath Junction. So you can see here that uh, the old Pacific Highway has been blocked off. So let's go see how far we can get on the old Ashland to Klamath Falls Highway. So here's our good old Highway 66 coming down the slope towards Emigrant Creek and now Emigrant Lake. About the only people who use this road these days are people who are coming to a trailhead uh, where there's a parking lot here or perhaps coming down with a boat or kayak to put into the waters of uh, Emigrant Lake. So it looks like good old Klamath Junction probably never to be seen again. Here's a map that was provided to us by my friend and colleague in Jackson County, Ben Truey. This map, again, shows the Highway 97 marker on the, uh, the old highway, but it actually identifies Klamath Junction. When Ben sent me this photo, he emailed me a message and said uh, that he guessed that people in Klamath were probably trying to tell people traveling towards Crater Lake that they couldn't get to Crater Lake by going through Medford. I told him they probably did say that. We still tell people that. No, that's just a joke. I'm kidding. We all share this great national treasure that's known as Crater Lake, which happens to be in Klamath County, just saying. Before we sign off, I've got one quick announcement I'd like to make. Please stand by for that. As a postscript to our video, I just wanted to say that I didn't drive all the way to Ashland to make this video. I'm actually spending a couple of days here in the last week of April in Medford attending the Oregon Heritage Summit. That's an annual event that's put on by the Oregon Heritage section of the Oregon Parks and Recreation Department. It's a chance for us to collaborate and uh, communicate with our counterparts and other organizations around the state of Oregon. And Klamath is actually pretty well represented at this event this year. We've got Eric Nelson here. He's the chairman of the Museum Advisory Board. Bill Nicholson is on the Museum Foundation Board. 
And at this next table here, we've got three of the officers of the uh, Klamath County Historical Society. Bill Lewis is editor of the Trumpeter. B. Naylor is the vice uh, president of the organization. And Sally Balo is the secretary. Also here uh, this week somewhere, we've got um, um, Harold and Linda Hartman. They live in Malin, and they're involved in the Smoke Jumper Base Museum. And then uh, Darren Rutledge with the Klamath Falls Downtown Association is here, and Nick Fair, also with the Downtown Association, was a panelist on the, uh, one of the uh, presentations that they had today. So we appreciate the volunteer effort that's being put in here by these folks from Klamath Falls. And if you're ever interested in participating in uh, some way on a board with the Historical Society or with the museum, we hope you'll give us a call at the museum. We'd love to have your help. For the Klamath County Museum, I'm Todd Keppel. We think local history is important and fun. We hope you do too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.